matter for great security guard test from Lomay Togo. I just wanted to uh, give a couple of thanks and uh, words of appreciation before we bring on our guest speaker. First and foremost, I want to thank Ambassador Fitzsimmons, Mr. Richard Seifer, the uh, conditions that you set for the embassy and your leadership are amazing in the Marines. Um, I cannot picture a better ambassador uh, that we would love to uh, serve. As well as our Deputy Chief of Mission, Mr. Ron Hawkins, we appreciate you, sir. Thank you for all your mentorship, you sharing State Department policies with us, the conditions you set in your leadership, we appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Going down the list, I really want to thank the GSO, Mr. Rob Villar, Mr. Francis Ajana, for making the introductions to the hotel here, with Monsieur Messin and Madame Flew. This event would be possible if they didn't make the introductions for me, as well as Barrera, to set up the ball here. Thank you, gentlemen. We'd also like to thank our CLO, our community liaison officer, Ms. Cora, Ms. Sonia, for including us in any type of embassy activity that they come up with or that we come up with them in collaboration. Thank you so much. We want to thank our outstanding FM, Mr. Penning, who always helps us out with things at the Marine House and always is uh, willing to assist and drop everything he can to help out the Marines. Thank you, sir. I really want to thank the Regional Security Office, Mr. Roberts, Mrs. Villar, your leadership is absolutely outstanding. Working for you every day and the training that you give me in the Marines is outstanding and we cannot thank you enough for everything you do. Along with that, we want to thank our local guard force. Me personally, every time I come to the embassy, it's always, I'm always greeted with a smile and it, I love coming to work just to see their, their faces and uh, the greetings we share every day. You know, we also appreciate the integral part they play in our embassy security, the first line of defense. We thank you. I want to thank the best band in Togo who happens to be here tonight. You know, man, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. And now kind of getting to a couple people that work with the Marines directly. I want to thank Felix, our barber, who always makes us outstanding every week. <laughs> Without you, my spouse would have to cut our hair, and that would take forever. <laughs> and thank you, Felix, for your uh, always willingness to come to the greenhouse and uh, uh, cut hair and do whatever uh, we ask. Thank you, sir. Some of the unsung heroes of, I think, the embassy. I want to highlight our Marine drivers, Adem, Christoph, and Nicholas, who always, they share a esprit de corps with what they do as being our Marine drivers. They always help us out. They're almost like the first link to the, the local customs and culture. They always teach us, and um, we always learn something from that. Thank you, gentlemen. Goes without being said, this amazing cake that we have here tonight, by our very own compassionate cook, Godwin. Day in and day out, he always shows up to make three meals a day for the Marines at the house. He does it with a smile. We appreciate you, Godwin, for everything that you do and your willingness to help the Marines out at any time. Thank you. I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't mention this uh, gentleman. My father, Nicholas Tibisar, flew in from Billings, Montana, from the United States, to be here with us tonight. The way I see it, he's a uh, representative of the, the homes that Marines come from, either be a father, mother, grandparents, uncle, aunt, his foundation that he said in me, the work ethic that I saw him do growing up, that's, he's the reason why I'm a gunny. Thank you, Dad. Ryan, 
she's been with me since 2008, before I, we, even before the Marine Corps was a thing, before I even stepped into a recruiter's office, we were together. She's been on overseas, around the country. We have three beautiful children, McLean, Bronson, and Deborah. Uh, she's the, the best spouse I could ever ask for on this journey in the Marine Corps. Uh, she also represents all the, all the military spouses around the world that put such support and allow us to do what we have to do. You look great in your dress, Ryan. The last people I want to thank is a detachment moment. It's just like the ambassador spoke in her during a speech, there's one brain not here. But if you don't mind, I'm gonna give him a call really quick. Our country's battles in the air, on land, and 
Crucified for right and freedom.